security, scalability, and innovation. Do you think a blockchain project would solve these significant problems on its own? What if they unified? Welcome to multi-chain network, Polka.ecosystem. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover the whole story together. Polkadot is a network that connects blockchains. Its main purpose is to connect other chains to itself and provide communication between them. It's also designed to be fast and scalable. Although, Ethereum is currently the biggest programmable blockchain in the cryptocurrency industry. But, the Ethereum network hasn't kept up with its growth. Until it can upgrade to Ethereum 2.0, the system is slow, congested, and expensive. Also, it doesn't work well with other networks. In 2016, Gavin Wood, co-founder of Ethereum, found a solution and decided to create a network, not only faster and more scalable, but also able to work with other networks. This would allow developers to build applications that use both the Ethereum and the other blockchains. Let's have a look at how Polkadot works. To begin, Polkadot is designed to operate two types of blockchains. User-created networks, called parachains. And, a main network, called a relay chain, where transactions are permanent. The beating heart of Polkadot, the relay chain. The main task here is to coordinate the overall system and its connected parachains. It's the main blockchain in the network. This is where value transmission and transaction blocks are completed. It provides security for blockchains running in parallel. Transactions from the parachains are confirmed on the relay chain using a system of validators. Consensus roles. The Polkadot relay chain uses a variation on proof of stake, POSE, consensus called nominated proof of stake, POSE. Following roles necessary to whole operation, nominators, these secure the relay chain by selecting validators and staking DOT tokens. Validators, their role is to secure the relay chain by staking DOT tokens, validating proofs from collators and participating in the consensus with other validators. Collators, they are responsible for maintaining shard chains by collecting shard transactions and producing proofs for validators. Fishermen, their responsibility is to monitor the network and report bad behavior to validators. Collators, as well as any parachain full node, can perform this role. Parachains. Polkadot uses parachains to solve speed and congestion problems. If all the applications unify one network, it will affect the performance of applications. Rather than this, each application has its own mini blockchain, or parachain, that connects back to the main chain. Parachains can interact and exchange data and assets with each other within the system. Parathreads. Similar to parachains, but with a pay-as-you-go model. More economical and beneficial for blockchains that rarely need to commit transactions to the relay chain. And don't need continuous connectivity to the network. Bridges. This is an important feature that lets Polkadot chains communicate with external networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Polkadot achieves this through bridges. Parachains and parathreads connect and communicate with external networks via bridges. Besides, Polkadot is currently working to extend bridges to other blockchains within the ecosystem so that tokens can be swapped without a central authority. Native token dot. And its functionality. The DOT cryptocurrency is the digital token of the Polkadot network which is used for staking, bonding and governance. All DOT holders, weighted by stake, then make a decision by vote. Agreed upon code changes get implemented automatically in the network. 10 million DOT tokens were generated with Polkadot's Genesis block. 5 million were auctioned off at Polkadot's ICO, 2 million DOT were distributed for pre-launch contributions, and the remaining 3 million were reserved for the Polkadot WEB3 foundation. To sum up, Polkadot has quickly become one of the most popular and, by far, among the biggest cryptocurrency blockchains throughout the entire industry. It appears poised to continue its mission of developing a blockchain network that operates in a trustless fashion for verifying data and value transfers in its quest for a decentralized internet. In addition, the DOT token has become a top 10 cryptocurrency by market capitalization, which indicates that its utility and that of the Polkadot network has been recognized. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Polkadot? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, Please tab the subscribe button 